Hey there, it's Iron here, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Recently on one of my older videos about the best and fastest way to prestige and level characters, I got a couple of questions about how to gain blood points the fastest. Matter of fact, Emre Tetekel said, How can we get 1 million blood points? Can you help me? And then Zach Boss said, I pretty much skimmed through the video, but nowhere did I hear you mention anything to grind blood points faster. What's the fastest way to get there? So I thought I'd do a tutorial on how I gain blood points the quickest. I'll show you uh, perks, survivor perks and killer perks, survivor offerings and killer offerings that will help you get blood points faster. All right, first let's start with survivor. So with the survivor, there are two main perks that you can add to your loadout that will actually help you get even more blood points during a particular round. So one of the primary ones that most people know about is we're going to live forever. Also commonly known as we're going to farm forever, which is a teachable perk of David King. And it says here that each time you rescue or take a hit to protect a survivor, you gain 25% stackable bonus to all blood points gained up to a maximum of 100%. So if you're unhooking a survivor from the hook, or if the killer is taking the survivor to the hook and you take a hit for them to try to protect them, or as they're running away, uh, you get a 25% bonus up to four, which would give you a 100% bonus at the end of the round. Now, mind you, you wanna make sure if you're unhooking them that it's, an, it's a safe unhook because there's upcoming changes right now because of Dead by, Dead by Daylight still being in development that the devs are actually going to take points away from you and the team if you make an unsafe hook. So therefore, it may get rid of the whole farm idea where people would just unhook them because they didn't care they were getting their points. In this case, you will be penalized probably after the next patch or when they come out with the next DLC uh, in September of 2018, just a, just a few weeks or days from now. The other survivor perk is no one left behind. Now this is just a common survivor perk. It's not teachable from any particular uh, survivor. So you anyone can get it at any time. It's called no one left behind. And it says once the exit gates are powered, you gain 100% more blood points in the altruism category and perform them 12% quicker. So that means if you, if you unhook someone after the exit gates are powered, if you heal somebody, Anything like that, you'll get extra blood points during that time. But the only limitation is it's at the end of the game. So a lot of times that might not even take effect. But it's there, and that's one way that you can get uh, extra blood points. All right, let's talk about survivor offerings. So I'm going to switch over to Jake Park real quick, because I actually have most of the offerings unlocked on him that would get you points. So the first one you'll see here, which most people already know about, are Bloody Party Streamers. Now, Bloody Party Streamers are great because they grant 100% bonus, bonus blood points in all categories for all players uh, during this particular round. And it stacks, so it stacks with other offerings. So if, say, three uh, survivors or two survivors and the killer threw up a Bloody Party Streamer, and there would automatically be 300% bonus on top of whatever you earn in that round. The other one that you can unlock is called the Bound Envelope, and it grants you 25% bonus points in all categories, again to all survivors. All survivors only. This this particular one does not apply to the killer, but everybody uh, that you're you're with that's on your team, and this one also stacks as well. Another offering you can get is the Escape Cake. So the Escape Cake grants, just just like the Bloody Party Streamer, grants 100% bonus points in all categories, but is just for you. It doesn't go to any of the other survivors, just for you. However, it does stack. So if you throw up an Escape Cake and somebody else throws up a Bloody Party Streamer, you're getting a 200% bonus during that match. And then finally, we have uh, the Sealed Envelope, which grants 25% bonus points in all categories to you. Now, unlike the green bound envelope that would give it to everybody on your team, the yellow Sealed Envelope only gives it to you, but it does stack. So if people are throwing up 
a, bond, a bound envelope, you'll get th those points plus your sealed envelope points or if they throw up a bloody party streamer. Finally, there's other offerings like these fragrant Primrose Blossom. The green ones give you 100% bonus in a particular category, like the fragrant Blog Laurel is in the Objective category. The fragrant Primrose Blossom is in the Altruism. You have the yellow ones, like the Fresh Crisp Leaf, that gives you 75% in Survival. Fresh Primrose gives you 75% in Altruism. Fresh, Fresh Sweet William gives you 75% in Boldness. And then you have the brown ones, and they give you 50% in whichever particular category they are in. Alright, so that pretty much covers the survivor side. Alright, now we're switching over to the killer side, and you'll see I'll have Miss Piggy, because Miss Piggy is my only Prestige 3 killer that has every perk unlocked, so I can show you everything with her. We go up here to her loadout. So there's three perks with killers that you can use for to get extra blood points. The first one that most people know about is barbecue and chili. Now barbecue and chili is a teachable perk of Leatherface or the Cannibal. So you'll have to level him up to even unlock this one. But once you do, each time that a survivor is hooked for the first time, so you hook, say, Claudette the first time, then you have to hook Meg, and then you have to hook Jake, and then you have to hook Dwight. If you don't hook, say, Dwight and Jake, you don't get the points for them. But for each one that you hook for the first time, so four hooks, one for each survivor in the game, you get 25% stackable bonus points, which if you get all four, you'll get 100%. So that's the same as having an extra bloody party streamer in the game. The next perk is Distressing. With Distressing, your terror raise is increased by 26%, but you gain 100% more blood points for actions in the deviousness category. So one of the reasons why I want to show you this on Miss Piggy is because for her, deviousness, one of the devious things is placing the reverse bear traps. So you have four reverse bear traps on her by default. For every reverse bear trap you place in the deviousness category, you are going to get 500 points. Now, if you have distressing on, that means that every one that you place is 1,000 points. So four bear traps, 4,000 points. And then put an add-on on it, like here, like Last Will, which gives an extra bear trap. You can then place five of the reverse bear traps. That will give you 5,000 points. But then again, if you have barbecue and chili, that'll be an extra 500 points. That boosted up to 1,500. And then I, as you see on here, I got Survivor Pudding, which we'll cover in a little bit. But that'll give us another 500 points. So that's 2,000 points by placing the reverse bear trap on their head. Uh, also, a lot of people will tell you when you're playing the pig, hey, you save the bear traps for the end game. I do not. I place them on starting the first time I find the survivor. Why? Because I want these points, and I don't want to leave any points undone at the end of the game. But distressing will give you 100% more blood points in the deviousness category. Now, if you put, play a particular killer, you can go to the Dead by Daylight wiki, and it'll tell you what actions by that killer are in the deviousness category. And then finally, the other last perk is called Hex Thrill of the Hunt, which is a common perk. It's not a teachable of, of any particular killer. You can just get it at any time, and you'll gain 10% more blood points for actions in the Hunter category for each token. So if you read the description, it says for each dull or Hex totem remaining on the map, gain a token. So it's five, you know, at the beginning of the game, and you get 100 category, you're getting a 50% bonus during that time. And then, say, one gets broken, then it becomes 40%, all the way down to 30, 20, 10, and then none if there's none left. But you'll get whatever at that particular time. Now let's cover offerings. Now we, we kind of already talked about Survivor Pudding. As you can see here, Survivor Pudding is kind of like the escape cake for the killer. It grants you 100% bonus points in all categories. And it stacks. So at the end of the round, whatever points you've made, you'll get 100% more. And then finally, also, Bloody Party Streamers. So Bloody Party Streamers, just like on the Survivor side, gives you 100% bonus blood points in all categories. 
But it's again, it's for everybody. So if you throw it up there, not only do you get it, but all the survivors get it. That's why a lot of times when you see a bunch of bloody party streamers come up, you'll see that gameplay changes a little bit because everybody's trying to get their points. And then finally, just like in uh, for survivors, you have the green uh, offerings here. So that's 100% blood points in a particular category. You have the yellow ones, which is 75% blood points in the particular category. And you have the brown ones, which is 50% blood points in a particular category. All right, let's hop into a game real quick. For me, the best way that I find to get blood points is to play killer. I find it easier than survivor, although I have a lot of friends that they find it easier on the survivor side. So I have one match coming up right here. I'll show you, and uh, we'll, uh, you'll be able to see it's a pretty normal game. At the, end of, at the end of the match, though, I walk away with a ton of points. And um, so, so watch this and, and learn. All right, so I do have a daily ritual to complete. I get 30,000 blood points if I successfully use the dash attack with the pig, which is you crouch down, you sneak up on him, and then you use her dash attack to hit him. I have to hit four survivors. In order to do that, I'm bringing along Ruin, so that'll help slow down the progression of the generators, because I want to have enough time to find them and get them. I'm bringing chl Chlorophobia, uh, which also slows down their healing. So once I hit them, they're going to be preoccupied with getting the bear, reverse bear traps off, plus with healing themselves. And then Thanatothopia is also going to slow down the repairing, healing, and sabotage. All right. Up here, I bought com brought combat straps because that'll make me crouch quicker. And then I'm going to use the videotape, which slightly decreases the ambush attack time, charge time and the ambush miss time. So if I mess up a little bit, uh, it'll help me get them quicker and do that. Then finally, I'm bringing along survivor pudding combined with the barbecue and chili. If I go ahead and hook each survivor at least once, I'll have an extra 200,000 blood points in at the end of the game in all categories. All right, let's get into the game and see how it goes. All right, I'm going to go this way. Oh, there's my ruin. Oh, dang it. Ah! Yeah, that lunge though. I thought she was going to be a hard one. Considering she was like hiding everything. You better not be on my totem. Yep. You're gonna die now. Oh, bad moves. Well, I'm not. Get I'm not getting my. Uh, Nobody brought in a flashlight. Oh, they're all right here. Oh, nice. You're 
You're next, sweetie. I told you you were next. Oh, playing that bowl or was it bowl over bowl maker? <laughs> No one's over here. All right, there's one. There's two. I'll take the time to break that. Cause you ain't gonna lose me. You messing with Miss Piggy now. What were you thinking? Don't mess with Miss Piggy. Let's keep you a little busy. Alright, you guys get to die now. Especially you and your boiler maker. Not one gen done yet.
All right. This at least guarantees me that. That I got, I got my four hits now. And I'm pretty sure I just pipped. And they don't have a single gen done yet. I just see someone over here. Hey, bad news bears. Sorry, but I just found you, so you gotta die. Go ahead, use your boiler maker over whatever. Almost. Oh no, you're in trouble. Ah! Nope, you're dying. Yes ma'am, you are dying. Not even gonna wiggle, huh? Got my daily and the 4K. And they can't even get the trap door because they haven't done at least two gens. Let's take this one to the basement. We got the daily and the 4K with Miss Piggy. And only one gen completed. And 89,000 points. We. Oh, and the double pip and the four iridescents. All right, so that wraps up this particular video. I hope this is, will help you out. Uh, just so you'll know, the, the grand total for uh, that last match there was... 119,424 blood points that I walked away with. It was 29,808 at the base score, 29,808 bonus, 100% bonus because of barbecue and chili, 29,808 again bonus because of the survivor footing, 
and then 30,000 uh, points bonus because of the daily for a total of 119,424. Again, you can do this on the survivor side, the killer side, whichever way you prefer to play. I, I prefer to do it uh, mainly on the killer side. That's why I said it doesn't take that long for me to level up if I put my mind to it. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, your feedback, what do you think? Leave that down below. And until next time, this is I Run, and we will see ya.